Welcome to another episode of The Brand Called You, a podcast and podcast show that brings you leadership lessons, knowledge, experience, and wisdom from thousands of successful individuals from around the world. I'm your host, Ashutosh Garg, and today I'm delighted and privileged to welcome a well-respected serial entrepreneur, a fellow YPO member from Utah, USA, Mr. Nikki Ko. Nikki, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you. Uh, Nikki is an entrepreneur and an investor. Uh, he's the founder of uh, Venture Studio, and as I mentioned, he's a fellow member of the YPO. So, Nikki, before we start talking about investments and ventures, tell me a little bit about your own amazing journey. Sure. I I'm Nikki, and I've had an incredible journey working in, in Silicon Valley, Wall Street, and startups. Right now, I'm focusing on launching multiple exciting ventures across diverse industries through a global venture studio using artificial intelligence technology to drive innovation. Hmm. I've worn many hats throughout my career, uh, from being a former Inc. 5000 CEO to a serial entrepreneur. I've learned valuable lessons along the way. I've traveled to over 140 countries, managed influencers, hosted thousands of events, and built a, a company that reached millions of clients worldwide. I've also worked with prestigious organizations like NASA, Intel, the United Nations. But there's more than me than just business. I'm a lifelong learner, and I've pursued various interests and hobbies. I love art, golf, music, film, meditation, hiking. I find inspiration exploring different cultures and visited over 200 LDS temples within a year. Amazing. Family's an incredible, important thing to me. Mm -hmm. I have a soft spot for three cats and a peacock. Uh, Education-wise, I hold degrees in law, business, entrepreneurship, venture management, liberal arts, economics, marriage and family, and psychology. I've studied at prestigious institutions like Harvard, USC, Wisconsin-Madison. In a nutshell, I'm a dynamic and diverse professional, always seeking new opportunities to make an impact, I learned from my experiences and I'm passionate about creating innovative ventures that push boundaries. I'm excited to bring my expertise, energy, and dedication to the table and make a positive difference in the business world. Wow. What an amazing journey and what an amazing story. Thank you for sharing it. So let's talk about uh, Venture Studio. You know, Tell me a little bit about your Venture Studio and what are you doing there? Sure. So our, our Venture Studio has a very unique approach to entrepreneurship and innovation. Hmm. So to, to understand what a venture studio is or does, you know, one of the unique things about a venture studio as opposed to a typical startup or accelerator is that it operates more holistically. Mm -hmm. So it combines elements of idea generation, team formation, capital allocation, and operational support to nurture and grow ventures from inception to successful ex execution. So in a venture studio, the focus is on creating an ecosystem where many entrepreneurs can thrive and it provides an environment that fosters collaboration, creativity, and shared learning. Mm -hmm. So the studio's team works closely with entrepreneurs. We offer guidance, mentorship, and access to a network of industry experts and investors. Mm -hmm. And this collaborative approach allows for like a synergistic effect to increase the chances of success for our ventures. Mm -hmm. So a key aspect of the venture studio model is that they utilize cutting edge technologies and tools, such as mm -hmm. artificial intelligence, data analytics, rapid prototyping, and these enable rapid iteration, market validation, and then scalability for the ventures within the studio's portfolio. So by leveraging these shared resources, we're able to leverage our expertise and maximize efficiency, mitigate risks, and these risks that are typically uh, associated with traditional startup ventures are usually not seen within our venture studio because we represent more of an innovative model that promotes entrepreneurship, co collaboration, and accelerated growth. And it's a very dynamic and forward-thinking approach to building and scaling ventures. So it's offering mm -hmm. an exciting alternative mm -hmm. to traditional startup ecosystems. Mm -hmm. And what goes into selecting a startup to be supported by Venture Studio and more importantly by you? I, I prioritize a few key criteria that I believe are crucial for success. First, I look for passionate and driven founders who possess deep domain knowledge and a clear vision for their venture. I believe that a founder's commitment and resilience are vital in overcoming the challenges and driving the venture forward. Hmm. Next, I assess uh, the market potential of the startup idea or product. I ask, is there a real problem that needs to be solved? And what mm -hmm. does a startup offer as an innovative solution hmm. that offers unique value solving, solving the deep core needs of clients hmm. or a potential customer base or market? And I evaluate that market size, the competition, the growth opportunities to ensure the startup has the solid foundation for success. Hmm. Another 
critical factor is the team's composition and capabilities. I consider the complementary skills and expertise and the diversity within the team. So building a well-rounded and cohesive team mm. is crucial for executing the business plan effectively, quickly, and adapting to the market conditions. Financial viability is also an important consideration. I evaluate the startup's business model, revenue potential, and the ability to achieve sustainable growth mm. and sustainable profit. Mm. So a clear path for profitability and scalability is essential for launch success. Mm. And I focus on achieving profitability as soon as possible within ventures because I want my ventures to grow off its profit and not be built off, uh, built to sell and have a limited runway. And mm. lastly, I look for startups that align with my values and have a positive impact on society of the environment. Social mm. responsibility and ethical practices are essential and important. I believe in supporting ventures that contribute to the greater good in a way that is positive and inspires righteous behavior. So overall, I see startups with strong founders, compelling market potential, capable team, financial viability, and a positive impact. And by considering mm -hmm. these criteria, I aim to identify startups that have the greatest potential for success and have my vision for driving innovation and positive change. Amazing. Nikki, I must compliment you. I've never heard anything so clearly articulated about what goes into stuff selecting a startup founder and selecting a startup. Thank you. The next yeah. question is that, uh, uh, would you be able to share one or two examples of some startups who you have funded and how you help them to overcome the challenges? Sure. We, we, we provide and in, in providing very comprehensive support mm -hmm. for our startups well beyond capital. And we understand that financial investment is just one piece of the puzzle. And we strive to be a true partner in a journey throughout the way. So we, we offer a wide range of expertise and resources to help startups navigate their various challenges. And so this right. includes strategic guidance and mentorship, the network, and we'll provide hands-on operational support. But we provide really great access to basically the infrastructure and the office space. This will include office space, co-working facilities, access to specialized equipment, mm -hmm. technological infrastructure, logistical burdens. We have an edu education platform that we helped provide uh, and connections to foster a community where this community has a tribe where founders can exchange ideas with each other and also share best practices with multiple education companies. Hmm. Within our venture studio, I've created many education companies that are also centered around influencers. Mm -hmm. This collaborative environment promotes innovation and enables startups around these influencers, which has launched into video membership sites, which has launched into masterminds, retreats. Yet we also provide the technological business development, which involves marketing strategy, product development, scaling efforts. And we have a team of experienced professionals to offer guidance, insights, and practical assistance in, mm -hmm. in each of these. Amazing. And, you know, I've spoken to many people who run, you know, accelerators, incubators, et cetera. And one of the efforts most of them try to make is to foster some kind of collaboration between the startups in their own ecosystem. At Venture Studio, do you do something similar? Yeah, absolutely. So one of the biggest differenti differ differentiators in terms of fostering collaboration mm. is that it's actually a necessary key component for the inner teamwork that takes place within our ventures, not just mm -hmm. in terms of partnerships, but actually sharing team resources. So we believe that fostering a collaborative environment, we can unlock tremendous value. And that's what drives innovation across portfolio companies. So to foster collaboration, we employ several strategies and initiatives. Firstly, we facilitate regular networking events and knowledge sharing sessions where startups have the opportunity to connect with one another, exchange ideas, and learn from shared experiences. And these events provide a platform for startups to collaborate from partnerships and leverage each other's strengths. Mm -hmm. Additionally, we encourage cross-pollination of ideas by creating spaces for startups that can interact on a day-to-day -day basis, mm -hmm. fostering a sense of community and encouraging spontaneous collaboration. One of my close friends that convinced me to move to Las Vegas many years ago was Tony mm -hmm. Shea. And he focused on this idea of return on return on the not just investment, but mm -hmm. return on collisions, mm -hmm. ROC, which is these mm -hmm. random collisions of ideas and events that take place through organic conversations and collaborations and opportunities that lead to innovative solutions and partnerships. Mm -hmm. However, we leverage digital platforms mm -hmm. and communication tools to facilitate ongoing collaborations and partnerships. So startups can engage in virtual discussions 
we we're now using Zoom, but we used to use Skype and we also share resources and we seek advice from peers. And these digital channels enable real-time collaboration regardless of geographic location hmm. and help a vibrant and connected ecosystem. Hmm. And furthermore, we organize specific initiatives such as those inter-team collaborative projects, innovation challenges, mastermind groups or startups can come together and solve common problems or address market opportunities. These initiatives hmm. can take place in retreats, they can take place in meetings, but they foster collaboration and create healthy competition and then drive innovation within the venture studio. And lastly, we provide mentorship and guidance from experienced industry professionals hmm. who can share their expertise and provide insights to startups. These mentorship programs create investors and create, create opportunities for, for startups to connect with seasoned entrepreneurs, industry experts, and, and can can really uh, offer valuable advice and support. And these relationships lead to partnerships, strategic alliances, hmm. uh, access to additional hmm. resources that fuel growth and innovation, collaboration. And so we aim to drive innovation, accelerate growth, and maximize the overall success hmm. of our portfolio companies. Fascinating. And how do you balance the autonomy of the startups with the guidance and support you provide as a venture studio? Yeah, great, great question. We, we believe in empowering startups to make their own strategic decisions while offering the necessary guidance and support to help them navigate challenges and maximize mm -hmm. potential for success. Mm. First and foremost, we respect the autonomy of each startup and their unique vision. We right. understand that founders have a deep understanding of their market and business, and we value their expertise. We work closely with founders to define their goals, aspirations, and key milestones, ensuring that their vision remains at the forefront of our partnership. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we provide valuable guidance and support through our team of exceptional professionals and mentors. We offer strategic advice, industry insights, and access to our extensive network, allowing startups to benefit from our collective knowledge and expertise. Mm -hmm. And this guidance is tailored mm -hmm. to the specific needs of each startup, taking into account their stage of growth, industry dynamics, and market conditions. And to strike the right balance, we adopt a collaborative approach. We, mm -hmm. we actively engage the startups in open and transparent communication. We foster a culture of trust and mutual respect. We encourage startups to voice their opinions, to share their concerns, to actively participate in the decision-making process. Mm -hmm. So this ensures that there's guidance and support that aligns with startups' goals and values. But mm -hmm. additionally, we recognize the importance of learning from failures and embracing an iterative process of entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. So we encourage startups to take calculated risks, experiment with new ideas, and learn from both successes and setbacks. This mindset of continuous learning and improvement allows startups to retain their autonomy while benefiting from the support and resources provided by the Venture Studio. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, our goal is to create a partnership where startups feel empowered to make informed decisions while knowing they have a strong support system in place. We strike mm -hmm. a balance between respecting their autonomy and providing the necessary guidance and support to help them overcome challenges, capitalize on opportunities, and achieve their growth objectives. Mm -hmm. And by fostering this balance, we aim to maximize the potential of each startup and create a collaborative and thriving ecosystem within our venture studio. Hmm. Amazing. And uh, do you focus on any specific sectors or technologies or are you yeah. a techno agnostic? Yes, our, our approach is, is definitely driven by a combination of market opportunities, mm -hmm. industry trends and expertise in particular areas. Right. And while we maintain a diverse portfolio of startups across various sectors, mm -hmm. we've identified key industry sectors where we believe we can add significant value and leverage our resources effectively. These sectors align with our team's expertise, market insights, and emerging opportunities. Mm -hmm. one, one of our core principles is to invest in disruptive technologies that have the potential to transform industries and create significant impact. Mm -hmm. We actively seek out startups that are leveraging cutting-edge technologies such as artificial intelligence, social media platforms, video production and innovation, and enterprise resource development. Mm -hmm. Technologies align with our vision for the future and opportunities they present for innovation and growth. Furthermore, mm -hmm. we assess market dynamics, customer needs, and industry trends to identify sectors that are poised for disruption and have significant growth potential. This allows us to focus our resources and expertise on sectors where we believe our venture studio can make a meaningful impact and generate successful outcomes for our startups. Mm -hmm. And while we have specific focus areas, we remain open to exploring new opportunities and disruptive ideas that fall outside of these sectors. Mm -hmm. We even stay agile and adaptive to market changes and emerging trends. And our priority is to work with talented entrepreneurs who have a compelling vision, strong execution capabilities, and a drive to create just these scalable and sustainable businesses regardless of, of what it is that they're working on. But by focusing on specific technology mm. and, and industry sectors, 
we're able to leverage our domain experience and expertise and network and resources, provide startups with necessary support and guidance to navigate their respective markets. So this focused approach allows us to cultivate deep industry knowledge and build strategic partnerships, ultimately increasing the likelihood of success for our portfolio company. So overall, our goal is to create a well-rounded and diversified portfolio of startups mm -hmm. while strategically aligning with industry sectors and technologies that offer significant growth opportunities and align with our mission and expertise. Mm, thank you. Great response. And how do you maintain relationships with investors and attract funding for your portfolio companies? So the, the co-family office is the sole investor in all the businesses in I our see. ventures. Okay. And building and maintaining relationships with investors is still both a crucial aspect of our venture studios operations mm -hmm. and important to both our business and personal life since all members of the family office are also relatives. Mm -hmm. So I recognize the importance of a strong investor network and actively work towards nurturing those relationships. But to maintain professional relationship with investors, we prioritize transparency, communication, mm -hmm. delivering on our commitments. We also provide regular updates to our investors. We're sharing progress milestones, challenges faced by our portfolio companies. We believe in open and honest communication, discussing both failures and setbacks. By fostering trust and maintaining clear lines of communication, we aim to establish long-term professional relationships with investors. Mm. In addition to regular updates, we also organize investor meetings, events, and network opportunities, mm. where these interactions allow deeper insights from portfolio companies, the growth prospects, mm -hmm. investment opportunities, and we actively seek feedback from investors. We listen to their perspectives, we incorporate their insights in their decision-making process, and attracting funding for our portfolio companies still involves a very proactive approach. We leverage investor our investor network to identify potential funding sources I mean, that align with our potential our portfolio companies' growth stages mm -hmm. and industry sectors. We actively engage with investors who've shown interest in similar ventures, mm -hmm. who have a track record in investing in relevant industries. And furthermore, we close, closely work with our portfolio companies to ensure that they're investor ready. And this includes mm -hmm. assisting them in developing comprehensive business plans, refining pitch decks, preparing for investor meetings, we provide guidance, evaluation, marketing positioning, mm -hmm. growth growth strategies to increase the appeal to potential investors. We also recognize the value of showcasing success stories and milestones mm. achieved by portfolio companies by highlighting the achievement, growth trajectories, market traction, and we create compelling investment narratives. And we actively promote our portfolio companies through various channels, including industry events, but for investors mm. in our family office, we promote through more regular conversations. So overall, our approach is maintaining invest investors um, centered on trust, effective communication, supportive mm -hmm. ecosystem, and is striving for long-term partnerships who share a vision that's aligned with our mission to support growth and innovation and startups. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, and now, you know, if I was to ask you to wear your hat as someone who's go, who's been in the as serial entrepreneur who has been investing in so many startups. Everyone's talking about a funding winter these days, and I'm sure it'll turn around very soon. But what are some of the trends you are seeing in the startup ecosystem? In the startup ecosystem, I have there are several trends that are shaping the landscape and presenting exciting opportunities. One mm -hmm. prominent trend is the increasing focus on technology-driven innovation across industries. Startups are leveraging emerging technologies such as artificial intelligence, <clears> machine learning, <throat> blockchain, and the Internet of Things to disrupt traditional business models and create new opportunities in markets. Another notable trend is the growing emphasis on sustainability and social impact. Mm. Startups are recognizing the importance of addressing environmental and societal and social challenges through innovative solutions. So we're, this, we're witnessing a rise in startups focusing on renewable energy, mm. clean technology, sustainable agriculture, healthcare access, and social enterprise. Additionally, there's a strong trend towards remote work and digital transformation. The COVID-19 pandemic has accelerated the adoption of remote work practices and startups are leveraging technology to create digital first business models and remote collaboration tools. This trend opens up new possibilities for talent acquisition, market reach, and operational efficiency. In terms of investment, there's increasing interest in early stage startups and angel investing. More individuals are becoming active angel investors, supporting innovative ideas and early stage ventures. Mm. This trend is fostering a vibrant ecosystem that encourages entrepreneurship and provides startups with necessary capital to fuel their growth. Mm. Moreover, diversity and inclusion has become a critical focus area within startup ecosystem. Correct. There's a growing recognition of the importance of a diverse perspective and representation in building success. To, and and just, this is this is a, a very strong recognition for the importance in growing sustainable businesses. So startups are actively promoting diversity in their teams, leadership, and board compositions. And lastly, 
the, the rise of impact investing and conscious consumerism is driving startups to consider both financial returns and social or environmental impact, which is also important to me as a vegan. In investors and consumers are seeking businesses that align with their values and contribute positively to society. And this trend is reshaping the startup mm. ecosystem and creating opportunities for startups to make a difference while achieving financial success. So as a venture mm. studio, we closely monitor these trends, but we adopt, we adapt our strategies and we stay in the forefront of innovation. So we seek yeah. a partnership with startups based upon these trends. Mm. Outstanding. I've got, I've got time for two more questions, Nikki. My next question is, at what stage do you seek an exit? <laughs> That, that, that's actually a pretty funny one for, okay. for me. Hmm. The, re the reason why is because our venture studio is primarily focused on keeping the business for okay. the long haul. And our desire is to not exit. Okay. If you can keep the profits flowing. Hmm. If there is a rare opportunity where an exit is something that we can do, and I've, I've done that, I've done that multiple times, I'll do it. But it's going to be usually focused around disenchantment. Hmm. In my situation, it was also through divorce. Hmm. Others, it could be through disease or death or, hmm. or dis disability. You know, I, I'm also involved with sell side transactions hmm. and doing investment banking. Um, and I, I think that these are these are the things that I would foresee, but that it's not ideal. For, for our venture studio, we're visioning a future in the long run where our goal is to look for the future and envisioning a role where we are, where our primary goal is just to continue expanding our portfolio of successful ventures hmm. and continue to focus on emerging technologies. Yep. And, and we, we were for specifically aiming to tar target startups in artificial intelligence, education technology, digital media, and online distribution systems. Hmm. And by focusing on these sectors, I believe that we can contribute to advancement and disruptions that address critical challenges and shape the future, which is really mm. important to me. I want to terraform the world in a very positive way. And I'm really committed to fostering a diverse and inclusive entrepreneurial ecosystem. Mm. Because I believe in the power of diversity to, to drive innovation and create more impactful solutions. So my goal is to actively seek out and support underrepresented founders, providing them with opportunities, mentorship, and resources to be successful. Mm. I'm also looking to empower diverse groups of entrepreneurs and driving change. But I'm also dedicated to expanding our global reach, establishing strategic partnership with organizations and mm. institutions around the world, mm. uh, collaborations with universities, research centers, other venture studios, partnerships that could add a cross-pollination cross of ideas and impact our ventures. And ultimately, my vision is to be recognized as a global leader in the venture studio innovation, known for our ability to identify, nurture, and scale transformative ventures mm. and measure our success not only by financial return, but by the positive societal and environmental impact that's created by the portfolio companies, staying agile and sustainable Amazing. and yep. making a lasting impact. Yeah, thank you. I mean, I should have realized after having spoken to you for 20 minutes that, you know, you will hold on to your companies uh, and not necessarily just spin it because you mentioned right in the beginning that you want them to become profitable as soon as possible. Uh, but thank you for sharing that. And my last question to you, Nikki, and this is for the thousands of people who will listen to our conversation. Based on your own amazing journey and having supported so many startups, what would you say are three lessons you would want a lot of potential startup entrepreneurs who will listen to our conversation to take away from your journey and from our conversation? Certainly. Here, here are three lessons I would like potential entrepreneurs, growing entrepreneurs, your listeners to take away from my conversation. Mm. One is embrace collaboration and ecosystem building. Mm. Building a successful venture studio requires a collaborative mindset and a commitment to fostering partnerships with the startup mm. ecosystem. By actively engaging with your investors, industry experts, mentors, and other stakeholders, you can create a supportive network that fuels innovation, facilitates knowledge sharing, and opens doors to new opportunities. Second, Prioritize long-term value creation. While financial returns are important, it's crucial to prioritize long-term value creation over short-term gains. By focusing on building sustainable, scalable ventures that address real market needs, we can generate lasting impact, balancing the pursuit of profitability with a mission-driven approach, enabling us to create positive change and contribute to the betterment of society. Hmm. Third, champion diversity and inclusion. Diversity hmm. drives innovation. And inclusivity leads to stronger teams and better outcomes. It's essential to actively seek out and support underrepresented founders 
creating an inclusive entrepreneurial ecosystem. And by embracing diverse perspectives, backgrounds, and experiences, we can unlock fresh insights, challenge assumptions, and build more resilient and impactful startups. Wow, what an amazing conversation. Nikki, on that note, and your three amazing lessons, enhanced collaboration and the eco and ecosystem building. Second, you said was priority, prioritize long-term value creation over short-term gain. And the third one, which is so, so, so powerful, champion diversity and inclusion. Thank you so much, Nikki, for speaking to me about your incredible journey. Thank you for speaking to me about so many different aspects of Venture Studio and how you are supporting and building so many different startups. Thank you again for speaking by, by to By internalizing me. these lessons, I, I hope that your listeners can gain some valuable insights into the dynamics of Metro Studios and apply them to their own entrepreneurial journeys. I'm sure they will. Thank you again. Thank you for listening to the brand called You Videocast and Podcast, a platform that brings you knowledge, experience, and wisdom of hundreds of successful individuals from around the world. Do visit our website, www.tbcy.in, to watch and listen to the stories of many more individuals. You can also follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Just search for the brand called You.